Turkish director Nolivi Mekian stands out internationally with a collection of great movies. And his most recent work, The Wild Blue Tree, is probably more challenging than anything he's done before, for himself and for the audience especially, due to its more complicated dialogues than the previous films, diving into political, religious, and many sort of themes in the film. With a length of 3 hours and 8 minutes, it's the second longest film he ever made, with more than two times the average length of a feature film. And that, of course, made people criticize it as boring or too much unnecessary dialogue. Obviously, the film is not for everyone. The main character in the film, Sanan, is a young graduate, an idealistic, aspiring writer, heading back to where his family lives, trying to get his first book published, where the father Idris <laughs> is an embarrassment to his son and his family with his gambling addiction and heavy debts, where the mother is the one trying to keep the house from falling apart. Not to forget the suspicious daughter, which is the least explored character from the family in the film. Sinan is what he call high-minded, where everyone is absolutely wrong in his young blind eyes. He carelessly offends everyone he meets in his way, and the problem that he doesn't seem to be aware of the insults he delivers. In his mission to publish his book, it seems almost impossible for the lack of money and because nobody is willing to fund him. And that takes us into the breaking point, the choice, where he's faced to either give up his only goal and passion in life, or to sell his conscience by secretly selling the most important thing to his father, his dog. Sinan tries to convince himself that what he's doing is not wrong, as long as it's for a decent purpose. But that won't last for long. Also, the film contains surreal subjective scenes, where Sinan once was imagining things in his head just to incriminate his father. And at one time, we can't be entirely sure whether it was a failed suicide attempt or just a nap on the ground. Ants crawling on a baby, a dog jumps to the sea, and Sinan hanging himself in the dry well that the father was attempting to bring water in which I think is a very important symbol to Sinan's journey. Everything is symbolic in a way, and Nuri never gives you the full picture. The irony of life is exposed very well throughout Sinan's journey. After he finished his military service, he finds out that his book didn't sell at all. The dream was only a fantasy, and ironically, the only person who read his book and was proud of it was actually his father, the one he caused so much pain just to get it published, the one he didn't even give the book for, and that demolished Sinan completely. The film ends with a very objective, open way, that I hate to ruin by explaining it how I see it at the moment, because I think it's not that simple to explain it, I'd rather just leave it to time. I think it's impossible not to relate to Sinan's character before in your life or maybe in the future. I really appreciate and love movies like The Wild Poetry, because after you finish the film, film never leaves you.